When thousands of our clients had to self-isolate, their lives and countless others suddenly changed. The services that we provide and so many had come to rely upon had to change too and fast. 23% of the requests that Gateshead Council received for support were referred to us and in the first 100 days of the pandemic we received over 20,000 calls. At its peak we were receiving 5 calls every minute. These calls helped us identify and create 14 new services to help the community with food, prescriptions and those suffering from mental health pressures. In the same period we made nearly 113,000 friendship and welfare calls, providing both human contact and a listening ear for our vulnerable clients. Rather than close, we had found new ways to deliver the support people now needed. But with 87 of our 147 volunteers having to self-isolate too, it soon proved a strain on our resources. Everyone's lives had been adversely affected by the lockdown, yet amazingly, within days, our volunteer base saw a massive increase. In the following weeks, we were joined by 17 mutual aid groups and partners, helping our volunteers do even more to help others. It was amazing to see so many people coming together, devoting their time and resources to support people in our communities. With the help of our amazing volunteers and partners, our dedicated staff were able to continue to support our 15,000 clients. They arranged the delivery of shopping, food parcels and hot meals to those in need. They collected prescriptions, pensions and dealt with energy suppliers on behalf of clients. Online fitness sessions were soon helping people keep active in their own homes. Need for our specialist services grew, some faster than others. The demand for our bereavement service increased alarmingly, and even with our dedicated staff and volunteers providing support and talking therapies, they soon had a growing list of people to contact. The Living With and Beyond Cancer Project continued to deliver the recovery package, a combination of different interventions which when implemented can improve outcomes and coordination of care, a welcome support for those in need. Working with Mental Health Matters, we were supporting nearly 200 individuals at point of crisis, with almost the same number needing continuous welfare provision. With threats of suicide rising from three a month to eight a week, the lockdown was having real consequences. Our staff, volunteers and partners continued to work hard, collectively having a duty of care to those most in need. With our partners, we developed a new system that maintains contact with people, identifies need and meets that need where possible. The way we delivered our services had changed, but putting our clients' health and well-being first hadn't. We're following guidelines to make sure our services can relaunch and continue. Clients will receive PPE when using transport and all transport will be cleaned prior to and after use. Our buses will be restricted to six clients and PAs will sit with the driver. All venues will adhere to the two metre rule with clients encouraged to use hand sanitizer every 20 minutes. All staff will sign in with a temperature reading taken three times in the day. They will use PPE supplied and will also regularly use hand sanitizer. Track and trace will also be in place across all services. And we're making sure our COVID services are prepared for locality lockdown at any point. We will continue to review the services we provide during the COVID-19 outbreak and post any changes on our website. How we live, work and socialise have changed, and so have we. And that's why we are still here for when you need us, now and in the future. To find out about our range of services or how you can help during the pandemic, please contact Age UK Gateshead.